Hi there, if you are running Fuforia Engine 10.0 till 10.8 and experience an DLL error, you might be affected by an unfortunate and unforeseen expired certificate within the Engine SDK. This error happens usually when pressing play in the editor. I created this video to go through the workaround Fuforia provides to circumvent this annoying problem. The easiest workaround, of course, is to upgrade to version 10.9 or above, which solves the issue. If you are not able for any reason to upgrade engine, you can use a Python patcher file to re-sign the expired certificate, which also fixes the problem. You can find the patcher file underneath the forum post, which I linked in the description down below. Once downloaded, you should unzip the file and you'll find the patch fuforia extension.py which we'll use both to upgrade our Unity project and the Unity package. To patch our Unity project, we need to find the tgz file. We can find this under My Unity Project and under Packages. There you'll find the file, which we need to update through the patcher file. Let's copy the path by right-clicking and holding the Option key. This allows us to copy the entire path, including the file name. After that, we can open up the terminal. Within the terminal, we should change our working directory where the patcher file is located. Once done, we type python patcher fuforia extension dot py and copy the path to the affected file and hit enter. This goes through the resigning process, which takes a minute or two. It also creates a backup file for your convenience. If you would ever need to use it, you can just remove the backup extension name. After it's done repackaging, you should close and reopen the Unity project and it should be good to go. Let's press play and as you can see, the DLL error does not appear anymore. Not only can we update the tgz file for your project with the patcher file, but we can also use it to re-sign the Unity package. The benefit here is that you can continue to use the older version of Engine with future projects especially if you cannot upgrade for whatever reason, so you don't have to resign every time you create a new project. The process is the same. We need to copy the path to the Unity package and swap the path name to the new one. Once done, you can use this file in your new projects without having to reassign the ggz file. I hope this helps you a little to continue your development with Fuforia Engine.